the stream open. No, oh, yeah, it's good. chill. I just want to double check. Good. Okay, I thought they would be. I'm a pro. Anyway. That's right. Hello there, and welcome to the deciding ace game of this Titanic contest, this semi-final battle in the south. We have, of course, one game into it in this uh, it's drawn level. We're in the ace game. We have the allies, Crossfire and Von Aston. Who do we find in the north, Ashman? In the north, we got Thanatos and Theodosius, and playing as the two different Axis uh, factions. They're going to be squaring off, like you said, in an ace game where both teams have so much skin in the game to figure out who's going to be the one to take on Gold Path 2 to see if they can dethrone the king and make their way to being the best 2v2 team in the game. Absolutely. And I didn't yeah. even watch the second semifinal. I know you cast it, but I, mm -hmm. I guess Nagano's team probably won. Yep, indeed. Nagano <laughs> pulled it away. You know, you'd, you'd expect it, but they didn't get it easy. Really, they did not. Of course like, not, It no. was a two-game, yeah, both really long games. But I, I just expect Nagano to come out on top. He's probably, pound for pound, the most consistently good Company of Heroes player. Um, mm. He plays both 1v1, 2v2 in both games continuously, so that kind of makes him a little bit unbeatable. Yeah, and Scotch and him have just stupid good synergy. They like they're like, I they they're playing fourth dimensional chess all day apparently because they can read each other's minds. Um, but yeah, and I this is actually the first game I've cast on this map. Um, and these I think this is the newly, um, is is this a new version of the map? Was it one of the ones that got Probably. its update? I think Alst Outskirts is uh, the people have been wanting it in the game for a long time. I think it. Possibly came in the game recently or something, and yeah, this it must did. be the revision. And it's a good map, yeah, it's it's up there now. It's fun, man. Um, and yeah, it's kind of like he's got plenty plenty of wide open stuff, yet lanes. Yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll see how it goes. And uh, interesting, I was seeing in the last game, Theodosius went for the Goliath. Here it is again. Um, yeah. Were there some spicy Goliath plays last game that I missed? Not well. I certainly missed them. If you did, I, I saw Goliath once in comments, but I never actually saw it utilized. Yeah, it's so weird. This commander's ridiculously wonky. I never use it. But um, what else does it got? It's got four receivers. I think one thing so, you have to take into consideration: yeah. it's really good spotting for those big tank destroyers. So the idea yeah. of it, I, I would imagine, was to spot the elephant in that last game. Um, are they going to try that again? Well, I know it's their... Yeah, they could. I mean, they have they have the elephant commander and just, you know, your standard Ju-87 and tiger. We haven't seen a single tiger all day. There was a tiger ace. But it was, hang on, it was their opponents that did this last game, of course. Is it? Is I thought that... Who, no, I'm pretty sure that Thanatos. And no, Theos yes, you're right. You know, you're sorry. I, I, I'm completely wrong. I'm very tired. No, you're bang on. No, I'm an idiot. You're good. If Thanos no. and Theodosios won the last game, they, they decided based on victory point counts that they will play Axis, and of course mm -hmm. they won with uh, the Overwatch commander. I've got very confused for a slight moment there. Nah, but yeah, it, it seems like they're just gonna try to do the same thing as last game. Hopefully, a little better uh, for Crossfire and Von Aston and not throw it. Um, and, and you can tell me if this seems like deja vu or not, because there's a fair chance it's going to play out the same, because both of these teams are really like, this is the semifinals, it's going on to the finals. They can't mess it up, or else they lose their chance at, I think, 260 big ones. Oh, yeah. $260,000. And Whoa. Uh, two Filipino no, sex much. slaves. This <laughs> is an insane tournament. This Tommy's got to get out there, and he's going to... Die, of course. Yeah, he, and then he jump will in never the enjoy the sweet kiss and embrace of that Filipino woman. He's just gonna lay there on the ground. <laughs> oh, um, God. Yeah, uh, what are these Tommies doing? They're so grossly out of position, chilling behind this green sand, bat, this green cover. But they're actually doing it. Yeah, they're doing uh, it, and uh, the Kubel's not gonna push them out of it. The folks going to is gonna carry on regardless. Yeah. And uh, they Kubel did... wagon's got really sweet. I mean, really strong perfume. <laughs> they just can't be next to it. They gotta move out of the way. So they all just gotta get out of dodge. Um, I like it when you've got this uh, one and a half ton uh, automobile that's just driving at you and you're like, Oh, get out of my way. Oh, <laughs> I'm trying to be behind cover here. It's like, no, I'm trying to run you over. No, get out of my way. It's mm, very ew, realistic. Ew. <laughs> <That> was... <laughs> 
I tell you, one of the there was one thing. It's worth somebody clipped it, so it's got to be a meme. Um, the best moment from the tournament from this day, uh, barring whatever happened during game one of this series, there was this ridiculously funny move by I don't know if it was intentional or accidental um, by I think Isildur. I don't, it, it was it was the first competitor against Nagano. Builds two ambulances as USF. What? Two ambulances. One of them to heal his 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 ally who was British who really didn't need it, and him and one for himself. And at the very end, Panther low health trying to retreat away from the action. The ambulance shows up and blocks the freaking Panther <laughs> and kills it. It's just the greatest moment. I was losing my gosh dang oh, mind. Oh, that's amazing. I wish yeah. I'd seen that. But uh, this, I'm sure somebody clipped it. It's, it's It was fun. Oh, I might try and find it. That's great. <laughs> Not whilst I'm yeah. casting, obviously, but later, yeah. Definitely. I, I think it was game one of uh, the whole day by Sturm Panther. So if y'all want to see that and it's not clipped yet, just go onto his thing and you can check it out. Um... What have we but seen yeah. so far in this game? And nothing too revolutionary so far, it must be said. Yeah, early caches, though. There have not been that many caches today from what I've seen. So they're mm. going to try to bank up some fuel real quick, maybe go for a... I, mean, I don't know what. One thing that's great about caches is if you're tired, um, you don't have to have as much infantry on the field. These guys have been playing for how long today? 11 hours or something crazy? Yeah, yeah. I mean, what was crazy was after... The three out. It was three hour long games for oh. a series, and it was it was Crossfire and Von Aston versus um oh god it was who who lost it oh actually that was the game with the Sildur and Sidolio and they they duked it around for three hours they were just beat whereas Thanatos and Theo for this series had been waiting all day for when they could actually play and it was at the end of the day and Theo and Than were you know furious because. It was the end of the day, and they waited, wasted their whole day waiting for this game series. Whereas they are just dog tired because they played three hours of continuous Code Two, and they're expected to play another series. Whereas Thano and they they'd been resting this whole time, so it would have been considered unfair. Um, just, so they, just, everybody they watching that. this, if you just uh, want to very quickly watch this clip of the what we just saw, um, what we just heard. Talked about Ashman, so Ashman quite full. Oh course. man, they got it. They yeah, clipped yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, if you watch the stream, you'll be able to watch it back. Here you go. Yeah. Oh shit! Yes. Around the quarter pounder, the quarter QF six pounder. Wait, this is the main scan. This oh main gun grid. Oh, oh that was good. Oh man, he no, oh, but the the block. He's blocking the ambulance. <laughs> no way. That was so sick. Oh my god, somebody clip oh, that. That was mess. the sickest block in Kotsu. <laughs> the ambulance blocks the panther. That was pretty cool, man. That was pretty cool. I wouldn't It blocks the way. I my 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 previous favorite block to that is I once saw Barton uh his sniper was getting chased down by a scout car, right? So he gets yeah. his pioneers out and he builds a bunker. Like uh, uh, for a millisecond in front of the scout car's way, and he blocks the yeah, goddamn. Yeah, and it was about oh, to get man. it. It was a T70, and he blocks the T70 from taking out his Vermax sniper in ESL uh, a couple of years ago. That was so cool. I remember that one. See, like that's the stuff. That's yeah. the stuff that you you watch RTS like high level gameplay for Definitely. because you think people can do shit like that, and you're just like, wow. Um, it's like when you go. Did you, did you ever play like Age of Empires when you were a kid? Like one of oh, those. Yeah. Really old RTS games. I remember what first got me like, whoa, people actually cast RTS games. It, it, it was stuff like that that blew my mind with yeah. those old games. They had um, people set up like houses because they looked like fake trebuchets or something, and that surprised people, and it was psychological, and it was beyond the, the common understanding <laughs> of the game. I, I don't know. It, it's well, really neat. Coming to Heroes has a lot of that, so much that I wouldn't want this game to ever be fixed entirely. You yeah, know? I mean, Coming Heroes 1 had so many bugs that were actually used by the players as competitive features. Stone mm -hmm. Pioneer here in a difficult territory. T Tommy's going to be able to not finish them off, but definitely push them out of the battle for a long time. Yep, narrowly gets away there. And, um, yeah, I, I agree. Like, I think you shouldn't take away RNG entirely, or you shouldn't, um, you know, the game cannot be reduced to, like, a game of checkers. Like, no no level of silliness um because it's it's a silly game in some sense and 
it's got a lot of charm to its weirdness. Oh, definitely. There's so much charm to it. And it's the essence engine not being a, a completely 100% well-made engine that makes <laughs> it so good in that regard. Well, speaking of weird charmingness, we got the Goliath on the field coming out of Theodosius' base. Uh, gonna go be a party favor. So... I always like to zoom in on it and pretend it's a World War I tank. And here, yeah. Here we I, I've never seen, tank. like, a real life... Oh, oh, go ahead. Go on. <laughs> well, I've never seen what they actually look like in real life. They actually were, like, RC car. They had to have a wire connected to them. Originally, they were they loud did. as hell. They did, yeah. They had a wire at first, and then they, uh, by the end of the war, they had them as RC cars. Okay, so they could be somewhat wireless. No, yeah, they had, cool. no, they had them remote control by the end of the war. Uh, but right. they only really used them in, in like stuff like uh, the Siege of Warsaw to like kill the Polish resistance and stuff. So it's not like they were never used against the United States forces or something cool like that. It was always, yeah. Kinda Could you imagine kinda. that coming towards you though? Yeah, I'd be like, oh look at this cute little thing. <laughs> <laughs> there I go. Oh, oh my god, AE. Oh my god. I just realized that RC stands for remote control. No, oh my! Because I was wondering why you made the distinction. You like? I was like, oh, so it's like an RC. That's cool. Yeah, I thought that RC meant. How like, old are you, Ashman? You're like 24, 25. Yeah. You know, I also had a realization. I was at a Mexican restaurant the other day, and I was reaching for the salt and pepper shakers, and I realized that the word pepper is the same for like actual peppers as it is for the table condiment and i was just like no what the hell is wrong with me I, my girlfriend was there with me and she's like what it, you the, went you, you're, you're like going to law school and you don't you never realize that really oh, you're yeah, a specialist I though i guess i i guess i am i guess i am uh i need I to start playing some 40 chess like these guys Get my get my sparts up. Let's keep an eye on this uh, Goliath. It's currently lurking. Mm. Oh, it's, it's it's roaring into action. Little little bastard is. What it's is he right find, in there, though? by the way? And yeah, he could get right real deep. There's nothing there. Oh no no, he's 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 seen that as a crater, so he's gonna stay on the victory point. It's basically a demo charge now. Yep, yep. Um, that's not a bad idea. I would have maybe pulled up a little bit further. He doesn't know, though, because he <gasps> can't see He's going map. further into enemy action. Just stay no in the grid. way. Smart man. He's, he's closer. He just needs to inch forward. He's like a... He's, he's pond hopping. <gasps> keep an eye on it for us, Ashman. We need to All see right. what happens. I, I, I'm, I'm on Goliath duty. I'll keep ha. an eye. Mm. Okay, so Ooh, he's Penal battalion is more oh, than worth Penal. it. What are you doing? Why no, did he move it. it, though? Don't move it because it's got a sound signature. You'll hear it. Oh, oh you moron. I think he saw it. I think no, he saw it. No, it's it's in cover, but he. Uh, oh no, um, no, it's not actually. Yeah, no, you might have seen it, but you could have heard it as well. You always want to keep it still. Uh, he may only get these royal engineers. He spotted. He's gonna reverse back a little bit. Oh, Fail. No. Ugh. God, all that anticipation for nothing. What a colossus, <laughs> Theo. Theo, you and me gotta have a talk after this. Yeah, he's you not going to. You can't play with my heart like that. No, these guys are amazing, but. It takes so much to be, like, the perfect Coming of Heroes player, and you've got to remember that not everybody's perfect. So, yeah, and, and there's a lot of luck involved when using a unit like the Goliath. There is. But uh, you can always, even as a caster, you see, like, little things like, oh, he shouldn't have moved it, he gave it away, you know? Stuff like that, yeah. and, you know, it's such a difficult game. All we, we, we're, we're like, it's easy for us to say. We oh, it's see so easy. We have actual map hacks. I do stream my own gameplay now and again just to get absolutely ripped into. Yeah, yeah, you you learn so much by looking at replays. Um, it's fun. What 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 game mode are you play in the most these days? Do you do you play Co2 still? A oh, lot, I play Overwatch to be cast? honest. Uh, and I cast, oh really? Uh, yeah, yeah. Overwatch. That's cool, man. Dalton with that hip fired MG34 roaring into action. Yeah, I just cast. I haven't got enough time, mate. I've got nowhere near enough time. Overwatch, you get, but a game lasts 10 minutes. Come of Heroes, a game lasts 50 minutes. Yep, yep. Especially if you're 2v2ing. All, All right, right, so the first tank of the game got a T-34-85 um, from Von Aston's uh, Armored Assault Tactics Commander. We've been hearing a couple radio intercepts throughout the game. 
So he's gonna show up and uh, he sees his wounded prey. The cheetah makes his way across the savanna. He sees the gazelle and here laying we have, bloody. And, yeah. and here we have the Zwei and the Zweihundertzweihundertzweihundertzweihundertzweihundertzweihundertzweihundertzweihundertzweihundertzweihundertzweihundertzweihundertzweihundertzweihundertzweihundertzweihundertzweihundertzweihundertzweihundertzweihund
The Schwer Battalion Headquarters is going to keep him at bay, though, and the Comet's now got to reverse away. Yep, got to reverse back for the in front of the Raketenwerfer arc. Doesn't work. Um, yeah, we should do a mixtape. <laughs> like, you know, sounds of... We're, we're not there yet. Yeah, oh, okay. You're going to give me a mixtape. Next you'll be asking me to move in. Next yeah. you'll be asking me for anal after that. I'm just... You, well, it's going we're, too we're, fast. We're, we got to... We gotta get a start a business. Let's just be business partners. Okay. We just need to get drunk and uh. I like that bit. We'll make a now you've got me. Yeah. Ooh, Katusha Katie going in again. Fire right over at that area. <laughs> uh, pretty much missing though. Everything, missing everything. It's gotten three kills and three barrages. That's terrible. Yeah, Von Aston just not able to do well on this right side of Elst um, outskirts. And he's going to have to just fire at long range with this T-3485, yet he's not the only thing that can fire long range. Pack gun right there, the edge of its arc, going to scare it away. Panther now on the field, though. That's yep. going to be a pretty big development. A big development indeed. It's crazy that uh, the Germans managed to build something that looks so much like modern battle tanks in the 40s. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah, it really, it, if it was just flatter on the top and uh, more wide, it wouldn't be too far away from okay. um, an Abrams. Yeah, like an Abrams or a Leopard or something like that. It, it's, it's so weird that they did that. Yeah, debatably. I mean, you got to give hand, uh, credit to the German uh, scientists and the people that made these really creative weapons of mass destruction. They, I mean, it's, it's of course, the purpose was, you know, pretty evil and terrible. Well, the but the they... best was the V2 rocket, and they used Jewish slave labor to make them, but that was like decades ahead. That's literally 20 years ahead. Yep. And there was no spared expense. Like, it was all or nothing. It was the end of the country, so they, they just went in with everything. You'd see massive weapons like the Gustav, uh, which just by modern oh, pricing, cool. as yeah. uh, you know, estimates would be just astronomical. So expensive yeah. and, and worthless. Um, but it, it, it's it's good for a World War II history special. So it is, and there's nothing better <laughs> for the advancement of human science than human suffering. That's what you got a bit more Apparently so. Here. Well, you know, you could argue that the atomic bomb has created more peace than it has destruction, but that's maybe yeah. a discussion for another had, day. Had a bad start, but then yeah. it, uh, <laughs> had, a, had a bad start. <laughs> uh, this is going somewhere bad. Anyway, let's get back to casting a little bit. Yep, taking a good shot at that Panzer IV, gonna back away with its nice little cow-colored, cow-shaped uh, skin pattern. Ooh, there's two of them now. The Panzer IV rushes in. No Faust yet because we've not had a single piece of damage on one of these T-34s, but they're gonna go in now. Pat 40, however, and the Raketenwerfe also open up. And what's this? We've got coming down at Sturmovix. That was a really fortunate RNG engagement for the Allies. If one thing went wrong there, it would have been a toasted T-3485. The pack was decrewed by some helping um, penal squad from the right. The Panzer IV made a shot and it bounced off the front of the T-3485, making the uh, sloped armor thing that you hear about all the time for the T-34 actually correct. Um, penal coming up, probably gonna satchel that bunker, and the Panther's just trying to do what it can with its um, pintle. Yep, and here comes the Osvind. It's going to keep that uh, pack sto temporarily stolen pack 40 at bay, but the T-3485 is going to try and push away the Osvind. We've had so much to and throw ebb and flow gameplay in this particular segment. This piece of land has just changed sides about six times so far. Absolutely, and uh, I can hear, you, you can feel there's communication between Crossfire and Von Aston. He's yes. asked for Crossfire to rotate his uh, Firefly and Cromwell over to the right Talking side. Talking of Crossfire, we've got the Panzer IV caught in it right now, and they're going to launch in. Oh, with a one rocket hitting, they need to follow up and maybe attack ground. T-3485 is going to go for it, can't get the killing blow. Very, very close. Pack gun still set up, going to try to get out of there. Um, just with only two men holding it up. Both T-34-85s are in good enough condition to be able to push forward. Katyusha, Katyusha, barrage, firing forth. And hitting no one. And hitting no one but the, the, the crickets. Well, somehow gotten 10 kills, I suppose, but uh, you'd always expect more. We have now got the Elephant Doctrine in stow, the British tankers. 
already. That was pretty cool. There was a combined arms double Faust from both players. They they were pretty synchronized there, two different really? players throwing a Faust at the same time. Yeah, and it uh it successfully engine critted that T thirty four eighty five. Not gonna be a big problem. It's gonna get repaired pretty quick. Um, hopefully, I, you know I think that Thanatos could use a couple a couple more mines or something to uh, dissuade his opponent because he's got two flamers and no sweepers at all. Um, and these T-3485s have been known to dive. Starvation. Osvind oh. is now getting heavily assaulted by the British tanks. The rockets go in and slightly miss. Here comes the Jagdpanzer wow. as well. Narrow shave. Jagdpanzer, yeah, it seems like both sides are just going to back away. This is gonna be a big fight, I think. We have the T-3485s sneaking around the right side. Uh, maybe gonna try to go for a flank. But what do the Axis really have? They have a Panzer IV, a Panther, and a Jag Panzer. That's just a lot, actually, so it could go either way. <laughs> just depending on how well their their push is. Who yeah, knows? I've seen uh, the Monty Python's Life of Brian, that film. Oh, man, you know, I've really wanted to. I love oh. the ending, though. Always you know, it's the best comedy of all time. You've only ever seen I, the ending. Well, everybody's seen uh, The that Holy Grail. Yes, they have. No, but Life of Brian's better, but uh, they're both great films. I, I really do love British comedy. I've been watching the IT crowd a lot lately. That's Such good. Yeah, movie. that's really good. Yeah. They were going to make an American version of it, but then they realized that would be terrible, so they stopped. Oh, they did, and it was called Big Bang Theory, and it was terrible. Oh, I hate uh, the Big Bang Theory. It's so bad. <laughs> if you ever want, if there's a YouTube clip, Big Bang Theory without laugh track. Oh my god. Oh hideous. yeah, oh, I've seen it. I have it's seen it. Hideous. It's so bad. Uh, leftmost victory point is just kind of feeling lonely and left out. It's totally whited. Nobody owns it. Um, maybe these nice little British men will come pay it a visit. Yep. On said right no point. African ever. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> no, it's like, uh, you know, these nice little British men come and pay a visit and place a, t uh, a flag. Oh, and yeah. Give us all Y'all really, really don't have to come. <laughs> yes. Y'all can, can just stay at home. It's fine. Just write us a letter or some shit. Uh, <laughs> folks in the year is going to come in and go maybe uh, give them a trouble. Give them a little trouble. Possibly. There's a lot of them, though, and they're thinking better of it now. Which would be a good move. Cromwell coming around the backside, though the Jagdpanzer is ready. It is in a great position. Um, T-34. Yeah, really, this is... They're starting to come out in a bit of a peninsula. That may not be the right battle term. No, I like it. Um, peninsula of tanks. Yep, so they could be flanked. Got to be careful for a pincer attack. Uh, long range. Uh, both tulips connecting. Jagdpanzer stunned. Missed completely with that uh, Cromwell attack and could go down. Ooh, very close, very close indeed. Here comes the Firefly, though. Couldn't take out the Ospin. We've had so many cock teasers here. Yeah, <laughs> really. Apparently, that Cromwell was just, uh, I don't know, reading a dirty Ooh, magazine. I've, I've, I've remembered the correct military term. Are you ready for it? Do you actually know yeah. it, but you wanted a clue? Yeah. Begins um, with the letter uh, S. Give me a clue. Begins with the letter S. Uh. A. Oh man, no, you're gonna. Right, there's me. a character Just... called Treebeard from Lord of the Rings. What was he? Uh huh. He was uh. Oh god, he was the he was the tree guy. They were the yeah, old what, tree. What people. was his race? Not tree people. <laughs> he was the tree people. That it's was an internet his name. name. No, it wasn't. It was, it, uh... It's an internet name for people that smoke marijuana on Reddit. <laughs> Groot? <laughs> no, Groot. That's the Guardians of the Galaxy. It's kind of close. Yeah, I know. I know. Same uh, last letter as the word you're looking for, Groot. Uh. So I'll give you the first uh, and the last letter. The spelt. The spelt. That's a thin person. Salient. I'm... Salient is the word. Salient. God, J.R. Tolkien. I failed you. I'm sorry. That's ends. So... You were thinking of. It had ends in it. I was trying to help you, but never mind. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't pull it off. I haven't watched enough World War II documentaries, apparently. So a salient is whenever you have a little bit of an cropping of, of Yes, oh god, we've got the Schwerpanzer headquarters so narrowly going down. Panzer IV has got its uh, main gun limp dicked there. And uh, this could be the end. Down she goes. There you go. Yup. Ah, uh, so it is really looking strong for Crossfire and Von Aston. Thanatos and Theodosius... 
uh, they were the champions of the last 2v2 tournament, which involved a lot of new maps for the community that were developed and a lot of... Um, it, it, it was fun. A couple of them are actually going to get added into the game after the new patch. Um, and they squared off against Gold Path 2 in the Grand Finals. They've been itching for this tournament for a long time because they wanted a rematch after Gold Path 2 oh. did take them out in two games. So this could be the end of their journey to a revenge. It could be. It's like one of those very famous uh, Japanese revenge films or something. Father... Sounds legit. Yeah. <laughs> their enemy <laughs> killed legit. their father, their brother, and their uncle, and now they're on a mission of revenge. That's right. You ever, there's an old Sega game called Shenmue that went something like that. Oh yeah, of, I heard that was uh, terrible. It was like one of the it worst wasn't games that ever, good, wasn't but... it? No, I'm joking. No. I, I was trying to troll you. It's like got 98% ratings or something. It was like the very first like open world game, so it, it's it, very it, it highly didn't rated. Age well, but yeah, and but that he lost his his father was killed by the yakuza or something, so yeah. he had to. It was actually the Chinese mafia. That's a trope. Yep. So Panther squaring off against these two Cromwells. The tulips Ooh. though. Oh, I can let it sit around. They had a big mine go off there, and the Osfind is now being heavily troubled by this newly resurgent Von Aston yep. armada of T-34-85 tanks. Von Aston brought a bigger boat, and this time he's <laughs> ready for, uh, he, he is so ready for whatever comes his way. Uh, Panzer IV is coming to avenge his fallen brother. Actually, one of the T-34-85s goes down. I would say that's a good trade. Um, the Oswin was good. I think it had some bet to it, but... Taking out one of those T-34-85s, which also probably had some vet, was a good trade. T-34s backing away, Jagdpanzer and Panzer IV in hot pursuit. They don't demo have vision, waiting. though. Oh, the demo could have been used as a... Oh, oh my oh, god! Wow. That combat engineer died a heavy death there. And that's going to stall the repairs, too. Uh, not that there really is much, but losing a repair squad in the late game does hurt. Oh, it massively. Still, though, it's so VPs. underrated. Somebody needs to tell uh, Thanatos and Theo, you gotta get something because it's real close. Pioneer squad moving up to that point, gonna maybe get it, but there's no way he can square off against those penals alone. Vet five foot security is coming in to help out. And uh, as you rightly say, I mean, this could be the first allied victory of the day. Axis have won 732 games. <laughs> yep. Gallup polls estimates <laughs> today. <laughs> Thousand it's gonna be players, huge. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> huge, huge. My bowls are the best they've ever been. The stock market, the highest it's ever been. Ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, I think speaking of you know, guy with small hands, these these <laughs> over here moving out of the capping circle, they couldn't take the heat. They decided to uh, only back up about half as much. You could have taken a couple rockets to the face and capped that point. You're about to lose your entire chance. It. Uh, three hundred dollars. So that's their, about what their, vi their victory points to. are now down to ninety-six. They used to have a large handful. Now they only have a handful enough for Donald Trump. <laughs> uh, Panzer fours, Panthers, and Pan Jag Panzers. Oh my! Just taking shots at the infantry there. Cromwell does not want to be there. Actually, going to push up. Could lose it. Going to blitzkrieg out of there, overhead, realizing his about. failure. Oh, now the Panther's exposed. Will he be able to get out? The Jagdpanzer's currently blocking him. Vision has Whoa! been blocked. Might be able to get the shot and Firefly. It may have been a bait, but uh, it looks like the Panther was actually able to shrug off a lot of that. On the right side, Panzer uh, T-34, I think one of them got real low, or it died. I think it just got low. Uh, it's got a damaged there. engine, as has the uh, Firefly. Looks like the Axis have had a very staunch attack here, and they're marching forth onwards. Jagdpanzer firing. Panzer IV also. Here come the penal battalions to offer some sort of resistance. Bray structure on the both mortars. The Brits under a heavy assault from the Axis onslaught here. Yeah, the, uh, the Sherman Firefly has a main gun crit, and that's going to prevent it from contributing at all. And with a wounded T-34, now it's fixed. It did use self-crew repair. Essentially... The Axis can't just take a good engagement. They need to take a really good engagement if they want to hold on to enough victory points to win this entire series. This is G3, this the is rubber match. The rubber match, the ace match, the decider, the finale. It's all coming to a close right now on the field of cool. outskirts. Cap in the left side, my hero. Doing a good job. Panzer IV 
Gonna try to spook away those penals, doing a good job. The fixed and triple vet, Sherman Firefly, taking long range shots. One attempt through the fog of war, unsuccessful. What a battle. We're now getting yeah, to, it up. We're getting yeah. to that crunch, crunch territory where Axis have to act fast, act hard, and go hard or go home. That's right. <laughs> I love it. The, um,. You know these players are just sweating right now. They are furiously try-hard moding at their keyboards. They're trying to communicate. They may even be getting a little frustrated at each other. Uh, this is a cutthroat series. Uh, very nicely done of Thanatos building a bunker on top of the victory point. That's going to at least stall that point from being taken, if by just a few minutes. Good thing to note about that, of course, it doesn't take up any pop cap, so you're able to keep building up your army. Although a Raketenwerfer may be just what he needs, these two pack guns won't be able to do much of anything, and uh, it's, it can just sit there and take it out. He needs some kind of infantry. Uh-oh, Jagdpanzer coming around from the right side. Panther also looking like it might want to charge. There nice. still are... Tri the, 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 the triple threat firefly is actually caught out a little caught out a little bit. It activates war speed to get away, and now it's... They're the not firing at it! They're not firing at it indeed. Here comes the T-3485, the Comet as well. And we've got a bit of a survival story on both sides here as both Armadas live to tell tell another day. Maybe the Panzer IV is about to go down. It does indeed, thanks to the Firefly. Ah, uh, Thanatos losing a really important unit there. Every single unit's an important unit at this late stage. The points are still split with nothing being drained down for either side. Penal's coming up real close. Maybe would have gone for the satchels there if they were still st uh, staying still. They could still do it. This uh, Panzer is getting awfully close. Will they throw a satchel? No, decides. they will not. Wow, great crush. Kills four units. IL-2 coming uh, into fire. Almost getting it. Yep, kills a Volksgrenadier squad. It's going to be very punishing. Wow, the T-3485, excellent anti-infantry damage. Theodosios just threw a folks grenadier into the center as a sacrificial pawn. The sacrifice was to get the 68 and a half tons of quantified destruction, Kruppstahl and Nazi menace. The King Tiger is on the field. Uh, could be the savior this game needs, but look, finally this pack on the right side moves forward. No, what's he doing? Take the point. You need The Kubel's it. coming, the Kubel's coming. Don't worry. Okay. Sounds good. Um, he just kind of sat there and watched the world go by for a couple, uh, about 45 seconds. So, looks like everything is being repaired to its fullest on the allied side of the map. And uh, there could be an all-in, though it, like last game, it would be unnecessary. That two Panther acting with the King Tiger, that Cromwell, I don't know how it pounced that much activity, Jesus Christ, what the British put in in that steel. It put some, you know, some, some butter, maybe uh, <laughs> a little bit of olive oil. Nice work from the Penal Battalions, the Royal Engineers also helping to cap this point, it's all anti-tank in that sector, they've left themselves exposed, Ashman. Enemy oh boy. What's this, so? Katyusha coming, Katyusha coming in on those tanks over there. Uh, gonna just nick it a bit, but not much. They couldn't cap it, they needed to, they needed to desperately. They need to finish off their opponents here. Ah, uh, brave Volk's Grenadier sitting in the capping circle down to nothing. He decides to back away, will he get away? And he will, but the points will remain, uh, somewhat slanted in the favor of the Axis. Uh, Jagdpanzer can rotate, maybe get the, the, uh, the Cromwell, but instead engages Nitro and gets out of there real fast. KT, oh, huge hit on that T-3485, but here comes the Brits! Firefly goes forward! They Cromwell march tries to on! And the, the Tiger's got to reverse out of there, however, again, the Brits have been left lacking, and here comes the Wehrmacht armor! The Panzer Fears are oh, gunning! everywhere! The, the Firefly goes down! The T-3485 is wounded! The Cromwell up north explodes! All of the Allied armor is destroyed except for a Cromwell that's over on the left side, jerking off! And over on the bottom, you got a T-3485 that hardly escapes. Weedmile on the other side, you have three elite heavy tanks for the OKW. And some really good medium armor. 
very fast, very nimble and well micro by Thanatos. Can they pull it back, AE? They look very much likely to be able to pull oh it back right God. now. They're walking into the central capping circle on 55 victory points. They just dealt a heavy blow to the allied armor and the allied economies, and it's going to take them a while to rebuild. And that 200 victory points will soon be dropping down to a much oh. more f closer territories. So well said. Man, you know, Thanatos, Theo, this was going to be a chill cast. Come on, man. You're giving us all this hype at the end. I can't help but get loud. That's That was fun. You didn't get loud. You got like, um, became like a chicken man. Oh, good. Your good. voice broke and it, it like stayed broken. <laughs> See what... It, it, I, you know, the mic is low, so maybe it didn't sound as much, but I was screaming. I was like... You were loving it, man. Oh, it was boy. very, very good casting. I'm only joking. <laughs> well, uh... Katyusha's really been pretty bad all game. Firing at max range, its scatterers just earned him no kills. Literally, zero kills. All game. And he's had lots of armor to hide behind, so he could have pushed up a little bit to get a bit more accuracy. So, kind of, kind of a farce. Temporary uh, triple cap was engaged there, and uh, we've now seen the allies drop to 150 victory points nearly. Now look at this. The allies have decided that they need to play it safe again. They're going to take the left point. They've invested very heavily in getting some uh, infantry sections, building trenches in that position, sandbags. They're going real defensive. However, that's a really long front line. There are plenty of areas for them to get cut up if they dove through the center and it could envelop and encircle anything in that area, so it would be wise to keep tanks close to the mortar pits. It may not get a victory point, so... Wow, it's close. 150 VPs left. Cat and Verfa trying to cap, but did not go in within cloak, showing tired players at the edge of their limits here. Yep. Panzer IV, triple vet, gets away. T-34, 85, gave a good shot, but it, 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 it missed. Crocodile's going to be a good late game weapon if he can uh, withstand the heavy armor onslaught, but in all honesty, it, it's not going to be able to, and it is going to be up against heavy anti-tank. It will be good slot? as a meat shield and to deter the victory points. This thing can take a lot of hits, even from uh, the Yagti or the Elephant, um, but it's, it's, it's really, really dire now. Um, I think the allies aren't sure quite how desperate they are. Um, I wouldn't be. I would... You, 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 gotta, you gotta look at all of the veterancy on your opponent's tanks, on your opponent's infantry, and you gotta think, what is the best thing? Everything you build from this point on is going to affect whether or not you can get to the finals of this tournament. Absolutely. We now have the SU-85 tank destroyer out. That's a fantastic choice. We'll be able to operate from the back. They need to be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Axis tanks. They do have an infantry advantage, it must be said, but in order to be able to push the tanks off the central capping circle. And that's probably going to be their best chance. KT encroaching on the horizon like a big, giant, stupid gorilla. It's just going to show its imposing weight. Yag Panzer IV feeling strong at Vet 3. Oh, main gun. Oh, SU-85 is limp and destroyed. Thanks God. to the beer moth of the King, King Tiger and his dark crusade in the Yacht Panther. Panther, full health. It gives zero you-know-whats, and it's going to die for it. Panzer IV is going to get a satchel, but that's just going to delay it from coming back later. Uh, the Panthers and the Panzers, everything is just able to run amok. The Axis armor is insane, and uh, really... Crossfire and Von Aston need more AT guns. I don't know what they need, but it's uh, certainly something other than what they have right now. Mm -hmm. Possibly needed uh, the Firefly double combo. Who knows what they what should have been different. They I needed just... did not have lost that last engagement. Yeah. That was so punishing. Was Everything was in there. King Tiger's just been satcheled. I doubt it's going to be over, ever, overly important, though. Temporary mm -hmm. immobility, so they're not going to be able to exploit that most likely. Yep, not likely. New Firefly comes on the field, just something. T-34-85, it's, uh, only, there are only two. A new SU-85 to replace what it had, uh, what had just been lost is now coming onto the field. Panther triple vet, it just is able to go in without a care in the world. 
This is where yeah. I can't even fire. I do have a Firefly rebuilt now, but I'm just worried it was too late in the day because I'm not sure the uh, crocodile's been overly useful. But it's useful in the south, it must be said. They're able to cap the south now. And they do currently have the northern victory points, so finally the Allies might be getting a two victory points temporarily back in their advantage. Dadgum. It's down to about, yeah, 100 VPs for each player. 100 um, victory points remaining for the Allies, 55 for the Axis. It's every man's game to win and every team's game to lose right now. Okay, Cromwell trying to go around, should probably engage its Blitzkrieg, maybe wanting to hold on to that until it can back away. Um, of course, King I'm talking Tiger. about emergency war speed. King Tiger takes a big shot in against those infantry units there. Well, allies are now on the onslaught thanks to their infantry advantage that we haven't really taken much stock of. They're able yeah. to cap this central victory point. They're pushing in with Royal Engineers and it's all anti-tank on the Axis side except for the Panzerfear and the King Tiger. So they are able to cap that central victory point. They have a trench in the south. They Their Ooh. opponents have 54 and dropping. This could be bad for the Axis. Yeah, credit to Crossfire and Von Aston for at least holding on to some of their units. Uh, Theodosius feeling maybe a little bit outgunned buys two new Volksgrenadiers to compensate. Um, oh man, 50 points remaining. 50 points remaining and dropping. This game could go either team's way, it must be said. I've got to be honest now, it's no, everybody, it could literally go 50-50 right now because I just think the Allies have what it takes to possibly eke out a victory point win. We all know Axis have the superior armor, but it's not necessarily armor that wins a victory point battle. It can be those crucial veteran infantry squads. It yep. can be an MG all of a sudden. You just don't know. SU-85 pushing right. in. Could get it. The smoke is popped. He's going to go for an attack oh. round. Oh, God. So just close. barely shy. Oh, big shots in on those first grenadiers. Winning the manpower attrition war at these last crucial moments. Yeah, the point captured on the right now recaptured by the pioneers. It's uh, still split VPs. This brave Volksgrenadier is again just going to stand there. Theodosius rolling the dice. Whoa, KT really damn low. Down low indeed. The T3485 is getting Larry. The victory point advantage is back in Axis hands. 97 and dropping for the allies. Dang. What a tense last game encounter we're seeing, Ashman. Yeah, uh, really tense. And, uh, you know, tanks can't cap. You're exactly what, right. What's this? Armor We've got a Sturmgeschutz! A Sturmgeschutz on the battlefield! <laughs> this is surely an Axis favor now! There's nothing those dastardly allies can do! Uh, man. You know... Your, your Imperial Dane impression is one of the few things, A.E. That's terrible. Things. It's awful, I know, but I, I, I will yeah. always do it. It's, and you should never stop. It's, <laughs> it's going to be good. Imperial Dane, I found out he, he actually got about 1,500 viewers once on a Twitch chat, on a Twitch uh, stream. He, oh, whether, you, whether you hate him or don't hate him, he, he certainly is a part of this, uh, this ridiculous story. I love story Imperial Dane. He's, he's hilarious. You've got to love yeah. Dane. King Tiger's back in action. He's got 23 kills. SU-85's done well for itself so far. It's not killed anything, but it's pushed things away. And that's what it's all about now. It's all about pushing things away and trying to capture those vital victory points, which the Axis currently are doing on every mm -hmm. front imaginable. Ah, oh, Panzer IV rotating over to try and uh, deal with some Sturmgeschütz just blocking his friend. Ah, oh, boy. So, almost a triple cap, actually. This could be it. Quickly, the VPs are ticking down two per second against uh, Von Aston and Crossfire. Oh boy, he gets it. Triple cap. VP per second. Not two VPs per second earlier. It was, it was one for every two seconds. But yeah, 68 <laughs> seconds. The game will end if they don't get something. Now, you never say stuff you don't know. Don't ever guess. You'll always be proven wrong by Twitch chat. I feel That's that might right. have happened to you today. <laughs> Oh, it happens. Um, <laughs> With Firefly, is a newly built Firefly. It's not really done much yet, but it's accompanying the earlier built Firefly, but it doesn't matter because it's about to die anyway, seemingly. This could be that moment. Ooh. They 
need where? to make something happen. They are now about to drop lower than that Axis enemy. Had that yep. Firefly burn up in flames. About Vomit. 20 minutes ago, if you told me that these allies would actually be on the back foot and the Axis would come but back... But here come the T-34-85s! Ashman, they're going to try and take out the King Tiger. The One punches. more penetrating shot could do it. It bounces. It still has a bunch of health. What's it going to target? It's going to take another shot. It bounces again. Oh, oh my God, it goes up in smoke. And the SU-85 bringing up the rear in futility. The oh, allies overextended. going there to There was a salient. And it was crushed mercilessly <laughs> by the Axis. And now they're on the onslaught. And now, just in actual World War II fashion, a huge army of tanks surges across the battlefield. I think to if one thing has, has taught us anything in this game today is mm. that uh, the Third Reich are the master race. All okay, hail, so. all hail our new leaders. <laughs> I, I, for one, uh, welcome our new Nazi oppressors. Um, <laughs> oppressors, please. Um, whip, whip AE twice as hard. No. The, uh, the, 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 man, there's nothing they can do. 26 VPs remaining. There are infantry units able to cap, but they're having to go through three tanks oh, equipped with machine What's guns. What's this? Strafing support. This will surely win it for the Allies. Oh, boy. Ah, uh, but they get cold feet and they finish, vanish. <laughs> Even though there's, uh, they, the, the, the Panzer Force would have actually laid down some very convenient smoke for them. <laughs> One of the Panzer Force does go down oh. in an abandoned vehicle state. Jagdpanzer takes another vehicle out there. It's Vetro C5, this thing. But here comes the revenge of the Allies. The Comet's trying to take it out. And all the way uh, around. Uh, look at this Comet. It's going straight for China. <laughs> uh, rotating Panther's around. Going to get a real nice rear armor shot on that Panther. But with only eight VPs remaining, he's feeling fatalistic. He's going in and he just wanted to see his girlfriend in the German camp one last time. Oh. And that's all she Oh. That's all she wrote, and it's three o'clock in the morning <laughs> for Von Aston. <laughs> how did I know that was the first thing that was going to come out of your mouth? For Von Aston, I'm going to ask him how he feels. Oh yeah, do it. Go ahead. So, I'll, I'll be quiet. Um, you go ahead you and call him. Feel, no, 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 don't. Uh, it's just uh, messaging. Yeah. So, how do you feel? <laughs> terrible. Oh. His answer is terrible. <laughs> Please don't kill yourself. You Tell him, yeah. Very well. Axis OP. Axis OP. Wow. And so he's the champion of the. He's, he's the they are champions. Champions. Not winners of the championship, but they have made it to the championship round. Theodosius and Thanatos knocked out after weeks of fighting for this victory. And Von Aston and Crossfire are gonna show up and just wrestle it from their hands to face Gold Path Two on the highest plane of battle in a final series. So wow. Von Aston, of course, very upset now. Of course, he he thinks they played very well and that they deserve to win, and uh, they threw. I it. just said that backwards. It's actually Theo 